Hello, hello, good evening, lovely, lovely people. Good evening, I hope you're well. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you've had a good weekend so far. I hope you've had a good week so far. Uh, we don't have Khastana Boshid in English, so I'll say it in Farsi, Khastana <laughs> Boshid. I know a lot of people, hi. I know uh, a lot of people have been extremely busy these uh, past few weeks. So I'll say it in Farsi, Hasan Aboshid, seriously. Uh, I know a lot of you are thinking of the new year, which is very exciting, and um, making plans outside and inside for the new year, hopefully. Uh, so I hope you're very well, all of you, and thank you so much for joining. Right. So let's see, I want to start by asking you, how is everyone? Is everyone ready for the new year? Is everybody ready? Let's see what you guys have been up to. Lovely to see you too. Thank you. Hi, Bingo Talk. Very nice that you could join. Thank you so much for joining. Uh, lovely to see you too. Par J7. Thank you very much. Bita, nice have seen. Thank you. I've tried. I've tried. It's not perfect and it's in three different tiers, as you can see, tier, tier, three different levels. It's in three different tiers, three tiers, T-I-E-R-S, T-I-E-R-S, not the same as tier. It's in three different tiers uh, and I've tried to put stuff there. As you can see, I don't have goldfish, so I refuse to put goldfish there. Um, I just feel sorry, you know, <laughs> for the little fish. Um, <coughs> excuse me. But I've tried to put, you know, all the other traditional things around anyway. Um, so hopefully that will be okay. Yeah. Happy New Year. Tia, thank you. Uh, three niam, I think tears. Lovely, lovely. I'll try to be ready for the new year. I hope I can achieve my goals, Zahra. Very good, very good. That's the mentality. Goldfish is not traditional, Neda. Oh, right. I didn't know that. Thank you. I thought it was part of the tradition, goldfish. Okay, thank you. I refuse to. Yeah. Yeah. Um, to be honest, yeah, I I mean, I, I had heard that they have goldfish, which is the symbol of life, if I'm not mistaken. And we say goldfish. We don't pronounce the D because D and then fish, F, two consonants that don't have a sound right next to each other. It's very difficult to pronounce that. So we say goldfish, goldfish. Um, but yeah. I always thought it was part of the tradition. I'm happy it's not traditional. Um, happy New Year, but we do not have any tradition related to New Year. Okay. Um, right. Spring is around the corner. It definitely is around the corner. And I don't know if you've noticed where you are, but I've definitely noticed a lot more chirping of birds, they're coming back. Um, lovely, lovely cherry blossoms. Oh, my God. Somebody, one of the lovely people, sent me a gorgeous photograph of cherry blossoms when she went out walking. I think it was last week, maybe. Uh, she sent me a gorgeous photo of cherry blossoms on the way. Beautiful, beautiful flowers. Very nice. Uh, can you put orange at water instead fish? I don't know. Um, but yes, it, spring is definitely in the air. The weather is much more mild. It's just gorgeous outside. It really is very, very nice. Uh, goldfish is not in my half scene. Okay. Okay. Very good. Uh, spring is in your winter. Okay. So people are joining, I think, from different parts of the world. That's fine. That's fine. Very good. Very good. Um, I see you've organized your beautiful have seen. Thank you. <laughs> Happy New Year's in advance. Thank you very much. Uh, lovely. Uh, don't forget we're not Iranian. We're Persian. Uh, yes, I see. I'm still, I personally am still confused. When do I say Persian? When do I say Iranian? Um, 
I am still confused. So I don't know if somebody would like to clarify that at some point. I don't want to start an argument because I know different people have different opinions. They have different um, views. Um, I thought it was Persian, but maybe I'm mistaken. I don't know. Uh, very good. Okay, right. So what I'm going to do is we're just going to have a little chat. I'm going to turn. We're all Iranians. Okay, okay. I'm just going to turn. Um, sorry, what was this? Uh, Kayvon, hi. We are confused. <laughs> we're confused too. Yes, yes. So a lot of people are saying we are Iranian. We're not Persian. Some people are saying only Persian. Right. Okay. Um, right. <laughs> uh, yeah. Well, different people have different opinions and everything, don't they? That's fine. That's fine. Uh, everybody is, is talking about the same country, the same geographical location anyway. Uh, one thing I want to do before I start. Sorry, I'm going to turn the comments back on. Um, thank you, Saida. Thank you very much. One thing I do want to say to you before we start is uh, because of Nowruz, because of the new year, I have got just for a short time, just for a few days, I've got a promotion, a sale on my website. Um, so if you type the word sale in the live right now, if you type the word sale, S-A-L-E, sale, um, information will come directly to your direct message it will give you all the information what is included the price in pound and in two months um, and you will be able to click on the link and go to the website and get the courses if you live in iran please just type the word iran and i will come uh, once i finish this live I will come and I will answer those um, questions separately myself. <coughs> Excuse me. The courses that I've got, what I've done is I've created bundles, bundles, bundles. Bundle, it means a group of courses together. So instead of just saying this course is on sale, I have put a few courses together and I've brought the prices down. There's one bundle that is the speaking bundle. It includes speaking one, speaking two, speaking three together in one bundle. Another one is the grammar bundle. So I've got grammar one and the advanced grammar in one bundle. And then students who want to work on their listening, I've got a listening bundle. And that includes my listening course, uh, which is seven sessions. I think it's seven sessions. And it includes accents from all over the UK. You've got videos that you can watch and you've got transcript and it works on all the different accents in the UK. That's the listening course and also the podcast. So my listening bundle. Hi, Atafir. Thanks for joining. So my listening bundle is just for you to improve your listening skills. So I've got one for speaking, one for listening. Um, and hopefully that will be able to help. OK, how can we pay from Iran if you just type the word Iran? So first type the word sale, please. So you get the information. And then if you type the word Iran, I will manually come and look at all the messages and I will give you information about that. Thank you for this. Thank you, England experiences. Iran is a fake word. What's this? Not meaning is incorporated for different nations that are living in political made borders named Iran. Actually, the nation includes Persian, Turkish, Kurdish. OK, OK, thank you. Uh, so please don't type Iran here. Please type uh, sale, sale here. And then when it comes for you, that's where you can type Iran. OK, I just want to move up. Very good. I can see lots of people. Yes. So um, please don't type Iran. Just type sale sale and then when you get the message then you type iran in your dm that's just to let you know so what i'm going to do is i'm going to continue with my live i just wanted to give you this information so you can type the word sale uh, and then you will get all this information okay if you are listening to this live after so you're not in this live now and you're watching this, for example, on YouTube or anything later, please don't worry. If you send me um, 
information. If you send me a message in my DM, I'll get back to you again. This sale will continue until the Nowruz. I wanted to say Persian New Year. I wanted to say Iranian New Year until Nowruz. Okay, it'll continue until then. So hopefully that will help everybody. Right. Um, yes, so it's the word sale. If you type that, all the information will come for you. Uh, excellent. So while people are doing that, um, today is St. Patrick's Day. St. Patrick's Day. And it's not just a religion or it's not just a celebration for Ireland anymore. It's a celebration that is celebrated all over the world as far as Japan even, which is really interesting. So a lot of you might ask yourselves, who is St. Patrick? If you live in America, Canada, UK, if you live in Europe, you might see lots of people are wearing green. What is that? What does it mean? It's celebrating today. And today in the Irish calendar is St. Patrick's Day, St. Patrick's Day, St. Patrick's Day. And St. Patrick was the name of an individual. He was actually English. He wasn't Irish. When he was 16, he was kidnapped and he was taken to Ireland. Um, and then later he was taken to Europe and he trained, he studied to become a priest. When he came back to Ireland, People in Ireland were worshipping the sun and he changed everybody's belief in Ireland. He said, no, stop worshipping the sun. Uh, and he converted everybody or he asked everybody to uh, convert to Christianity. So he bought, he brought Christianity to Ireland. That was uh, a person called Patrick, St. Patrick, <coughs> excuse me. And uh, St. Patrick's Day was only celebrated a little bit in Northern Ireland. It wasn't huge until a lot of immigrants moved from Ireland to America and they took their culture, their history with them. And it was there in America that they got really homesick. They really missed their own home, Ireland. So they started celebrating uh, anything that was about Irish, including St. Patrick's Day. So it was really a quiet celebration in Ireland. When it went to America, it became huge. It became really big, a little bit like Halloween. It started in Ireland. It was very quiet. When it went to America, it became huge. So St. Patrick's Day in America was celebrated a lot. It started in New York. In America, people started wearing green, which is a symbol of good luck. Obviously, it's it's the Irish symbol as well. And they celebrated because they were really homesick. They used alcohol to celebrate. Uh, they were very homesick. So now um, in America, in Canada, Europe, of course, the UK, uh, even in, you know, the Far East, places like Japan and places like that, um, people celebrate St. Patrick's Day. They go out on the streets and they enjoy their drink. They enjoy their alcohol. Okay. Uh, I'm sorry, your voice is... Uh, can, can, can everybody hear my voice? Is that okay? Yeah? Yes, Sarah, that's right. Uh, that's the clover. Um... اگه بخوایم بپرسیم که بسته پستی که رسیده به اسم چه کسی هست چطوری بگیم بسته پستی که رسیده به اسم چه کسی هست um, whose letter is it whose letter is it yeah your who is it addressed to ببخشید این دومی بهتره who is it addressed to address با ed who is it addressed to who is it addressed to? Uh, and people are telling me, yes, you can hear me. Lovely, lovely. Very good. Thank you for that. So for anybody who's just joined, um, I do have a sale on. I have a promotion on my website, a sale on my courses. All you have to do is just type the word sale in the comments here 
and that information will come to you in your direct message, the word sale, okay? And that information will come to you. So that was St. Patrick's Day. I've just got a list of a few things I wanted to talk about. Um, very good. So that was St. Patrick's Day. Uh, I talked about that. Right. The next thing I want to talk about is the whole title um, of uh, tonight's live, which is we want to say goodbye to 1402. We want to say goodbye to 1402. We want to welcome 1403 which is the uh, year, the, the new year. And um, what do you usually say to people when it's the last time you will see them before the new year? What do you say to people? Give me an idea. I'm guessing you say some things very similar to what we say before new year and Christmas, yeah? So what do people usually say um, when it's the last time you see somebody before Nowruz, what do you say? Coin is not the symbol of have seen. It should be something surely edible, which starts with S. Okay. Uh, do you have a YouTube channel? I do. It's youtube.com slash Layla's English Lab, which is the name of my page, Instagram page. Um, I will put my link in a story tonight. Um, have a nice year full of health and wealth. Very good. Happy no rules. Hope the best wishes. See you next year. Okay. Okay. Very good. Happy new year in advance. Happy new year in advance. Very good. Very good. So I think you're saying the same things basically that everybody says. I hope you had a good year and I wish you a great year ahead. Very good. Happy new year in advance. See you next year. Lovely. Happy aid in advance. Okay. Okay. Have a good year. Very good. Very good. You're just awesome. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, have a new year. Lovely. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, please, please write your link. I will put it in the story tonight. Yes, I'll put it in the story. Where is my AD? Okay. <laughs> I'll remember that one. Um, where is my AD? Uh, my kids, I was telling a few of the lovely, lovely people, my kids, as you know, I've got two kids and, uh, for about four or five years, we lived in the States. We lived in America. My kids were very young when we were there. My daughter was three and my son was only five years old, very young. And I remember that I started the idea of Nuru's, even though they were really young, I started this in America. I put the sofre. Uh, and we had no rules every single year. Um, my kids were in nursery at the time. And I remember I used to take pictures of every item and I made a PowerPoint presentation. I emailed the presentation to my kids' teachers at school in America, uh, in, in LA. And I wrote an email to the teachers. I said, if it's okay with you, my son, my daughter, they would like to give a one or two minute presentation in the classroom about no rules to their friends. Is that OK? And the teachers absolutely loved this idea. Oh, yes, please. Yes, please. So uh, every year I taught my kids a little bit something, something a little bit new, a little bit different for every one of the items. For example, SOMAC, in English we say SOMAC, which is SOMAC, is the symbol, for example, of light, the light that you have from the sun. Uh, for example, I don't know, the other things, uh, apple is the symbol of beauty. Um, these things I would explain to the kids, uh, garlic is the symbol of wealth. So the kids would be able to point the teacher had it up on a big screen in the classroom. Uh, the kids could point and they could talk about it with their classmates. Um, and every year I would get a box of Iranian shirini, dry shirini, without nuts, because you can't take nuts into school these days. A lot of kids have nut allergies. They would take a small box of shirini to the classroom and all the kids, all the kids always used to love Nowruz because that was the day that they got a presentation from my kids and they got free shirini in the middle of a lesson. So they absolutely loved it. Um, and it was very good. It was a good education for my kids. It obviously helped them with their confidence. 
And I remember my three-year-old daughter asking me, is this the aid where we get money? And I said, yes, that's the one. So she will never forget that. It's the aid where they get money because they don't get money for Christmas or New Year. They get presents if they like it or not. But money is different. Yeah. So they absolutely love no rules. Uh, and I want it to have a good uh, impact. I want them to have a good memory, you know, of no rules. So hopefully when they go to Iran um, very soon, they will understand. Wow. You know, they, they will understand that this is the tradition that they were celebrating when they were a kid. Obviously, hopefully by then they'll learn a lot more about it. Such a lovely cultural idea. It's a lovely culture. It's a lovely culture. I'm crying for your kindness. Oh my God, honey, please don't. <laughs> um, the last ending which I received was 200 tumans. Okay, it's better than nothing. <laughs> very good, very good. I'm in intermediate level, Layla. Is your bundle help me to improve? Uh, yes, if you're intermediate, please go to the speaking bundle, which is speaking one, two and three together. That is a bundle that has Farsi translation as well. Uh, so I teach in Farsi, but I pronounce everything in English. So you've got both languages. Yeah. OK, lovely, lovely, lovely. Very good. Thank you. So we're starting a new year, starting a new year. And the way I like to think about it is that we all, when we're born, it's like this book starts. OK, so all of us, we have this book and the book symbolizes our life. When a year comes to an end, it's like one of those chapters has finished. So we're getting ready to end the chapter for this year. It's an exciting time because that means we're getting ready to flip the page, flip the page. We're getting ready to start a new chapter, start a new year, start a new chapter. And I like to think of this book as it's not the book that controls me. It's not life that controls me. I am the author. I am the writer. So I am the one that controls this chapter. I am the one that controls this life. That's how I like to think about it. Does it always work? Is it always successful? That's a different topic. But that's the way I like to look at it, that um, my book is still open. It hasn't closed. I haven't died yet. Yeah, the book is still open, which means I am the author and I can still write and I can still be the author of my life. Kind of a new chapter, a new me. So new year, new you, new year new you. This is what I like to think. This is how I like to think that the year has started. Whatever mistakes I made last year. OK, I'm only human. I made mistakes and I learned from them. I'm not going to sit there worrying. Why did I do that? Why did I waste my time? Why, why, why? I'm not going to do that. That was last year. Last year's chapter is almost finishing. Now I have been given a new opportunity, a new life, a new year, a new chapter. And so now I'm going to start a new chapter of my life. Yes. Um, I understand 100 percent, but I can't speak fluently. Thank you for your comment. Thank you for that. Um, Sorry, Farsi Shraham Begi Jaryana Sale Ro. Okay, I'm going to write, um, I'm going to explain in Farsi for the sale, but I want to come back to Maryam's comment as well. Um, I'm just going to make a note for myself so I don't finish, uh, I don't forget. Okay, Happy New Year in advance. Thank you very much. Um, I'm going to turn the comments off. Okay. Pasia Tozihe Khelisari, Yekiaz Dustan Khostan Rajabe Dora Ha. 
برای سال نو یک پروموشن یک سیل در وبسایت گذاشتم که این پروموشن تا خود روز نو روز در واقع ادامه خواهد داشت بعضی از دوره ها رو دستبندی کردم دوره هایی که به هم مربوط هستند در واقع دستبندی کردم یه بسته یا یک دسته در واقع دوره زبان یک دو سه با هم هست برای افرادی که سطح انترمیدیت هستن و کل هر سه دوره زبان در این بسته به فارسی درس داده شده ولی تکرار پرانسییشن همه اینها به زبان انگلیسی هست جمله ها رو شما میبینید به انگلیسی چندین بار تکرار میکنم ولی توضیحش به فارسی هست تمام متنش هم که خب به انگلیسیه پس این ویدیو درس هست علاوه بر این ام پی 3 اودیو هم هست که هر جمله رو که من آروم و آهسته خودم میگم بعد پشتش مکس میکنم فرصت باشه که شما هم بتونید تکرار کنید برای هر جمله دو یا سه بار هر جمله رو تکرار میکنم مکس میکنم که شما هم بتونید اینن اون جمله رو با من تکرار بکنید این برای اودیو و بعد تکلیف و اینها هم هست برای هر کدومشون زبان یک برای سطح متوسط هست کارهای روزمره که شما میخواید انجام بدید رفتن پسخونه رفتن مثلا پیش دکتر نمیدونم رفتن به کمست داروخونه کارهای روزمره که انجام میدیم کارهای بانک مثلا اگه کارهای بانکی داشته باشیم پس برای سطح متوسط هست دوره زبان دو برای کارهایی هست که یه مقدار اداری تر هست شما اگر میخواید خونه کرایه بکنید مثلا یا میخواید برای اینترویو آماده بشید یا میخواید با سازمان آب و برق و گاز مثلا در تماس باشید کارهای اداری تر رو شما در دوره زبان دو یاد میگیرید دوباره کل درس به فارسی ترجمه میشه ولی اصل متنش به انگلیسی هست دوره زبان سه هم تاکید خیلی زیاد داره روی اصطلاح پس درس هایی که داده میشه اصطلاح درشون زیاد استفاده میشه که با اصطلاح هم شما آشنا بشید دوباره تمام ترجمه و اینها به زبان فارسی هست این یه بسته هست یه بسته دیگه دوره گرامر هست گرامر یک که بیسک هست و بعد گرامر پیشرفته کسانی که میخوان آیلتس امتحان بدن توفل بخوان هر جور امتحان ایسال توی کالج های انگلیس امتحان بدن دانشگاه مثلا میخوان برن به گرامر پیشرفته تر احتیاج داشته باشن ادوانت گرامر خیلی کمکتون میکنه گرامر یک در واقع فاوندیشن هست که به عنوان مثال جملات شرطی رو به شما یاد میده گرامر ادوانست میاد همون جملات شرطی رو ترکیب میکنه یه مقدار سطحش بالاتر هست این از گرامر و بعد بسته آخری که دارم فقط به زبان انگلیسی هست برای تقویت لسننگ شما فقط به زبان انگلیسیه برای سطح زبان بالاتر یکیشون دوره لسنینگ هست که شما رو با لحجه های مختلف توی کل یوکی آشنا میکنه و اون یکی دوره پادکاست هست که هر جمعه یه پادکاست جدید توی وبسایت هست و این دوتا کامل به زبان انگلیسی هست اگر شما فکر میکنید که زبانتون متوسط هست خواهشان این دوره رو نگیرید به خاطر اینکه براتون سخت خواهد بود و چون دوره دوره الکتری... الکترونیک هست در واقع دیجیتال هست دوره دیجیتال رو هیچ کمپانی هیچ بزنسی میبینید که پس نمیگیره چون دوره دیجیتال هست هارد کپی نیست پس خواهشان اگر فکر میکنید که برای شما سطحش بالاست نگیرید چون ممکنه براتون سخت باشه اوکی okay, that's it <laughs> thank you very much excellent Uh, so I hope that was okay for somebody who wanted um, the information in Farsi. I'm going to go back to Mariam's question about speaking fluently. You know what, Mariam? Um, <clears throat> I was talking to a few students during the week. And at first, when the students started talking, as always, they were so aware 
of the pronunciation, their vocabulary, their grammar, all these kind of things. There were a lot of pauses, max uh, kardan, yeah, lots of pauses in their sentences, lots of corrections, and they weren't fluent, they weren't confident at all. Then I started distracting the students. So I would start asking them questions, uh, which means they got distracted. They didn't think about the grammar anymore. They were too focused answering the question, thinking about the topic, not the grammar, not the vocabulary, not the pronunciation. And honestly, their speaking was so fluent. It was so good. I'm not saying they didn't make mistakes. Of course, they made mistakes because they're learning and that's that's expected. But they were so much so much more confident in their speaking because they weren't focusing on the grammar and the vocabulary. They just wanted to say what they wanted to say. And when the student is relaxed, it just makes the whole experience of the listener so much more enjoyable. Uh, I am a teacher. I have to listen for mistakes. That's my job. But when these people speak on the street, your neighbor, the bus driver, your, I don't know, the person who gives you your coffee in a cafe. These people don't care that the grammar is wrong. They just want to know, oh, John, this, this customer, what coffee does he want? If the grammar is wrong, it doesn't matter. What coffee do you want? Your next door neighbor, it doesn't matter. They just want to know what you want. What, what do you want? How can I help you? What do you want to say? That bus driver, that person in the tube station, they don't care about the grammar. They just want to know how can they help? What is it that you want them to do? So focusing a lot on the grammar and vocab and I'm not fluent and stuff. Please don't worry about that. That has to come a lot later. الان دیدید من وقتی که فارسی خواستم صحبت کنم تون صحبت نکردم درسته؟ مکس زیاد می کردم امدن سرعت صحبت کردنم و آوردم پایین به خودم وقت بدم که الان که میخوام این حرف رو بزنم چی میخوام بگم به انگلیسی فکر نکنم بعد ترجمه کنم به فارسی به فارسی فکر کنم yes. به فارسی فکر کنم که ترتیب کلماتم درست باشه و اینها so this will happen in time it will definitely happen in practice, with practice um, چطور میتونیم پکیج رو تهیه کنیم just type the word sale right here in the comments all the information will come to you okay the word sale please you can trust Leila that rose that's so kind of you um, okay is spring cleaning there really as serious the matter as it is in Iran uh, Mary Hamedi um, to be honest spring cleaning sorry uh, Bolur Iran Nargis sale s-a-l-e please S-A-L-E, uh, spell me here. S-A-L-E, please, sale, sale. Um, spring cleaning, we do have spring cleaning here, yeah? And the spring cleaning that we do is closer to Easter, because that's when spring starts in the uh, Christian calendar. Um, but it's not as deep and thorough as it is in Iran. In Iran, I was talking and some people said they wash their carpets. Oh, my God. They wash their curtains. They move their fridge and they clean under the fridge and over the fridge. And they empty each and every one of their cupboards and they wash it with the hose. And uh, some people said that they change the entire furniture of their house. We don't do that, unfortunately. We obviously want to live in a clean house. So, you know, like everybody else, we clean the house every week. And when it comes to spring cleaning, yes, um, we like to have, you know, everything clean, but we don't go washing carpets and that kind of thing. We might get like a, um, what do we call it? Uh, like a jet wash, for example, for the carpet. We might get like a carpet cleaner, which is a machine um, that we hire. We hire, so we just borrow it uh, and then we use that. We don't take carpets outside and wash them outside and hang them to dry and all these kind of things that they do. Because I know a lot of people I was talking to, they had a really sore back, sore back. Their back was sore uh, 
کمرشون خیلی درد میکرد بعضیا and i could tell you know they've been چی بسابن بشور is that right they've been uh, cleaning so much they've spent so much of their days and nights cleaning so we do have spring cleaning but it's not as thorough as it is in iran yeah i wish it was actually um Yes, so the word sale, if you just put the word sale in the comments, all the information will come to you. Um, I really don't want to force anybody to get any of my courses because um, if there are people who want to get the course, that's fine. The information is there available. Uh, I don't want to force people. I don't want to be one of these people who says... Um, هنوز دوره منو نخریدین اون وقت فکر میکنین زبانتون خوب میشه چه جوری فکر میکنین زبانتون خوب میشه I don't want to be one of these people sorry to me these people are just thinking about selling their product they're just thinking about making money and I hate that kind of person when I am the customer if I go in a shop <coughs> excuse me if I go in a shop I went in a shop Uh, the other day, Chandra's Peach, the other day. I went in a shop the other day and I saw a few really, really nice things. Um, and I said, you know, I'll have this and can I take that? And every single thing that I said I want, the shopkeeper said, oh, isn't that beautiful? Oh my God, isn't that gorgeous? And the first couple of times I thought, yeah, it's very nice. I agreed with her. But every single thing I wanted to take, she kept saying, oh, isn't that beautiful? Oh, isn't that gorgeous? I should have got this. I didn't even see that. I realized that she's just saying this just so I will buy it. And she put me off. Yeah, she put me off. She put me off buying. I don't like it when people force me to buy something. I think it's wrong. I think the the seller, the business owner, the shop owner, whoever has to give me the information and then I decide as the customer, do I want this? Do I need this? Can I afford it? I don't like it when they ram it down my throat. Yeah, I don't know if that's the right idiom. I'm sorry. Uh, they ram it down my throat um darzem agar man ye harfi mizaram ke bi adab hast man vaqan mazarat mikham qast bi adabi nadaram in chiziye ke shenidam va baad daram inja tekrar mikonam age eslah zishtiye mazarat mikham man kasi o nadaram ke betonam azash beporsam aya in munasib hast in harf o bezanam ya na khalas az qab mazarat mikham when somebody rams something down your throat That means they force you to have. They force you to have it. They force you to swallow it. Something that you don't want, like a, an item. You go in a shop. Oh, John, you don't want it, but they say, "Oh, it's so nice. It's on offer. <gasps> Why not? If you don't get it, I'll get it." You know. So I don't like that, and I don't like do doing that to students either. Uh, the information is there for you to choose, if you want it. If they started commenting, it suits you. I don't buy that. I'm the same. Exactly. Exactly. They're just saying that so you like what they're saying. Yeah, that's that's all it is. I'm Farshid from London. And even after eight years of studying and working in the UK, I'm still learning new stuff from you, which native people use. Thank you, Farshid. I really appreciate your knowledge and great work. Thank you so much, Farshid. So you've been here for eight years. Uh, that's lovely to know. And it just goes to show, doesn't it? I just want to tell other people who are just learning English, even though the lovely Farshid has lived here for eight years, all of us, we're still learning, aren't we? So learning English isn't just for one or two years. Uh, این دوره رو اگه تهیه کنید این صرف تا صد انگلیسی رو یادتون میده والا اگه چنین دوره هایی باشه اگه دوره صرف تا صد مثلا چینی یا ژاپنی یا اسپانیایی باشه منم میرم میخرم بعدم نمیاد but i don't think there is a course that teaches you from zero to 100 i've never heard of that course if you have please let me know 
because I would like to get that course as well. Uh, so I think that's that's what we're trying to say. How can I improve my speaking without a partner? That's a very good question. Um, if you're living somewhere that it, they don't speak English or if you don't have a partner, even if you're living in an English speaking country, um, I think a lot of it is going to have to come from you. OK, now do remember that language is a social thing. It's a social way of communicating. It's not like studying physics or maths. You can go in the room, close the door, do some homework and then you'll learn ready for the exam. English isn't like that. Language isn't like that. It's a social communicating tool, which means you need to have somebody that when you say something, they listen. And then when they react, you listen and you just keep playing it. You just keep doing it like a ping pong game, volleyball game, whatever. It's a social communicating tool. But if you don't have a partner, it's very useful if you can um, learn some English that you think would be suitable, useful in a specific situation. So imagine you've gone to the bank. OK, what kind of things will you need when you're in the bank? You might want to say to somebody, I've got a bank card. I want to add my husband, my wife to this account. Yeah, there's a special way of doing that, which I teach, for example, in speaking one. Or let's say, for example, in speaking two, uh, I teach that, uh, for example, you have been with this company and you've had Internet with them or you've been with this Internet company for five years. Now you want to ask them, uh, I've been your customer for five years. What kind of free upgrades, what kind of perks, what kind of benefits can you give me? I've been your customer for five years. So there's a special way of asking these things. And these are the things that you learn. It's just envisaging, imagining you're in that situation. You imagine the situation. What would you say? OK, and that's that I think would really help you. OK, I'm a bit behind, I think, with my comments. I'm sorry. I'm going to have to see if I can move. Oh, yes, I am very, very behind. I'm sorry. Uh, love you. Love you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, my goodness. I am very behind. OK. Um, how can I see a demo of your speaking package? It's on my website. I've got something called Nemune Tadris. It's on my website. Please do watch that. Um, Chetori Bengilisi Fekonam. Right. That's a very good question. Very, very good question. And to answer that question, this is where the culture of the language really becomes useful. I don't know if you agree with me. The culture of the language helps you to think in that language, right? Uh, the fact that, I don't know, if we're in um, a classroom in Iran, the teacher's just finished, it's part of the culture that we say to the teacher, that's part of the culture. We don't have a translation for that in English. So to, to think in English, I have to know that we don't have Khastan Aboshid in English. So I can't translate from Farsi to English. More power to your elbow. I've heard lots of things. Don't be tired. Um, don't be tired is actually Yijur Hushtar Dadan in English. Don't be tired. Khastan Aboshiyan. Nagi Khastama. You know, it, it can have a completely different meaning. So to think in a language, I think it's important to know the culture of that language. It'll just make the job a lot easier, I think. Yeah. How do we think? Uh, how do think with Persian? Uh, yeah. So <clears throat> when I'm speaking Farsi, I have to keep reminding myself if I'm talking to somebody I don't know, I have to say it's nice if I say, we don't have this in English. This is the culture of Farsi. 
We don't have this in English. If I think in English and translate to Farsi, it would be Hamtorki Gofta, Hamtorki Gofti, Gofti, Naki Goftin. Yeah. So if we think of the culture, it just helps. Yeah. Um, thank you for all job you're doing. Thank you for your post. Thank you, Sat. Thank you very much. Very, very much. Oh my goodness. Is that the time? Is that the time? Is that the time? Wow, it's very late. Thank you, everybody. So nice to have you. Lovely that uh, you allowed me into your homes again on the, <clears throat> on the last Instagram live of this year. I feel very special. Thank you so much for letting me in. Uh, thank you for your questions, for your comments. I really appreciate it. It's the last time I will see you before Nowruz. I wish each and every one of you, wh whichever corner of the world you're in, I wish each and every one of you and your loved ones health, success, whatever success means in your life. Some people, they succeed in their job. Some people will be successful if they have money. Some people think they will be successful if they open a business if they learn a language, if they get that master's degree, PhD at university, whatever success is in your life, I hope you achieve success this year and hopefully it will be a fantastic year for you and your loved ones. Thank you so much for joining me. This has been recorded and it will go to YouTube. I will share the link on my story tonight. Thank you very much, everybody. Thank you. Good night.